What's up everybody, 915 Man here, doing a video today on the 20 gallon long, nothing fancy as you can see. This tank is just a regular 20 from uh, Petco. Suggest you pick one up if you're interested on the uh, dollar per gallon sales. So that way you only pay $20 for the tank and spend all your other money on the coral or lighting, something like that. This one is very simple, just a hang on back filter. Just a glass box to grow out all my little coral frags. Right now I have the T5s on. Uh, this fixture does have T5 on it and uh, LED, the LEDs I got from uh, Reef Breeders. Still need to get another LED, but for now this is how I'm going to do it if I decide to get another LED. I'm going to be showing you the T5s on it and then we're going to switch to the LED so you can see the the real reason why I love uh, all these little frags in here. I do want to do a few things to this tank. Um, basically just add some more frag racks in here so I can add some more frags. I did order a couple of frag plugs. I ordered 200 frag plugs uh, because believe it or not I'm almost out. Uh, the super glue that I'm using is the good old dollar dollar super glue although I my favorite glue out there is the BSI gel glue that's some of the best glue but for now this uh, dollar glue works really good I have quite a bit of uh, frags here we're gonna grow them all out and um, you know just add a bunch of different colors to it so far this tank has been really really easy the only way that I'm topping off is with a kool-aid jar fill it up with RODI water and then I come over here and I fill it up I do have a uh, an auto top off I just haven't hooked it up yet and I do have a protein skimmer I'm still running this tank without a protein skimmer um, what I am gonna do is I've been doing the 10 gallon water changes on it and I'm just gonna do 10 gallon water changes once a month uh, just keep it real simple uh, and we'll go from there you know Zoas like the water a little dirty and uh, since I don't have really anything demanding in here uh, we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to go ahead and flick to the LEDs now. Turn off the T5s. The LEDs are running right now, but turning off the T5s and you can see all the little coral frags just popping at you. I still have my 40 gallon breeder sitting in my garage. Um, that's there just in case I get bored with my 20. But with the 20 gallon, you can really jam pack a lot of Zoas in here. Uh, quite a bit of frags. And as you can see, uh, I just need some different racks and I'll be good to go. Um, I can jam pack this 20. Uh, this is my aquascape right here, The frag, all these little frag plugs to me. And to me, that looks like it's awesome. I love it. I may consider getting a little bit of equipment, um, maybe add a reactor to this and uh, go from there. But you know what? I'm just really keeping it simple with this hang on back filter. This hang on back filter, I got it just because I wanted a, a little fluva on there. And the fluva has filter floss, which keeps my water pretty clean. And I can run like carbon bags or little GFL bags. But I do have a couple of reactors sitting in the garage. I may play around with that later on. But uh, for now, I'm just going to do the keep it as simple as possible. It's nice and quiet. And uh, I bet you I grow a whole bunch of different frags out of here. You know, all these little single heads right now. Look back in a month or two and they'll be filled up. Especially with the lighting options that I have on this tank. The uh, I'm running two bulbs of T5. You know, the Coral Plus, the ATI Blue Plus, and just the Coral Box LED. And it's lighting up my tank really good. And you can see that, you know come back in another couple of months make sure you subscribe by the way but if you come back in a couple of months or whatever um, you'll see all the new heads growing on it which is pretty sweet but this just goes to show you you don't have to have all this high-tech fancy Neptune Apex everything go all out badass plumbing you can just keep it simple have a little glass box aquarium have a decent light good flow and uh, there you go. You don't have to have all this uh, crazy sumps and everything. Although I do like all that stuff. 
you know, this tank right here, if you really look at it, is basic and simple. So you can see that I am doing the keep it simple, stupid um, concept on this tank. And uh, I like it because I just, you know, cut the flow, stand over the tank, and I can see all this crazy zoas and polyps that I like. Will I start uh, getting rid of this stuff? We'll see. Uh, for now, I just want to grow it all out and uh, get more variety in here and just uh, go from there. But I uh, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys have a good one. Make sure you guys uh, like, subscribe. You guys take care. And uh, you guys take it easy, man. Thanks for watching. Take care.